As I was praying and pondering our, our times this past week, Wednesday, November the 11th, uh, I heard a prophetic declaration by Holy Spirit from King Jesus. That is a bit unusual, at least for me. But I heard a declaration from Holy Spirit from King Jesus. I said, Holy Spirit, we're supposed to discern our times. But there's so much noise. There's so much confusion. There's so much lying going on. There's so much hatred and vitriol shouting for our attention. Even some Christians, as Adam and Eve, are now saying, Yea, hath God said. And they're willing to give up the garden. There's so much evil surmising. I said, Holy Spirit, please cut through the cluttering mess and, and talk to me. Help me discern these times. Show me what's happening. Give me an aerial view from, from your perspective. Jesus said that, that we are to hear what you are saying. He even said that you would hear what he is saying and come and tell us and you would even teach us about what he is saying. What are you saying? What is the king saying? And then I just stilled my mind and I began to quietly just pray in my spirit language, just listening from my spirit. And after a while, I heard these words coming up from deep in my spirit from Holy Spirit. He said, the king says... When he said that, the anointing of the Lord came all over me. I actually began to tremble. He said, the king says, I will now deal with the oppressors of my people. I have heard their cry and will break the hold of the taskmaster's rule. I began to write as fast as I possibly could. The king says, I will now deal with the oppressors of my people. I have heard the cry, their cry and will break the hold of the taskmaster's rule. Though they bow their necks in stubborn resistance, I will harness them with nose rings and lead them to their place of destruction. Like oxen to the slaughter, I will pull them to their place of defeat. The words of their Pharaoh will be as chaff in the wind, as my angels of breakthrough scatter and shatter their influence in the land. Contend for it as I harden their hearts. The commanding influence of the oppressor's curse will break from the hearts of my people. The disheartening crack of the taskmaster's whip will no longer be heard by my sons and daughters. They will not carry the burden of their oppressors. They will no longer toil for their enemy's gain. They will no longer work as slaves of cultural brutality because they worship me. For the king says, I am breaking open doors to freedom. I am revealing paths to liberty. I am breaking through with my power. I am ending the taskmaster's rule off my people. Keep moving to promised places. Know with confidence your oppressor's refusal to let my people go is not the final word. Pharaoh will not have the final word. I will have the final word. 
Set your heart on what I say, expecting to live in the promised place. And move forward towards new times and seasons that I have prepared for you. Move forward into positions of authority I have ordained for you. Move forward into harvest I have ripened for you. Move forward into reformation I am now activating for I am uprooting and I am tearing down and I am planting new just as I said my prophetic word would do. Stand and just keep standing. As I continue to shake the oppressor's hold off you. The shaking is not your undoing, it's your unloosing. It's for your freedom. Trust me and you will one day testify. There have been battles. There have been perils. We have lost and learned some lessons there has been wilderness. There has been droughts. There has been persecution. It has not been easy. There have been testing times. There have been tribulations. But the overwhelming goodness of the Lord brought us through. The overwhelming kindness of our God never failed us. And we possess the land. It was little by little and bit by bit, but our God rose up on our behalf and broke the back of our oppressors. 